Am I the asshole for still going to my sister's wedding after my husband cancelled my plane ticket? Dot. Here's the situation. My husband, 36, and I, 30, have three kids, 2, 4, 7. I'm a SOM, full-time, and I take care of the kids while my husband works, full-time. My sister's wedding was last week. We live hours away which is an issue for my husband. When we first got the invite he told me that he wasn't going, that he will stay for the kids and suggested I do the same. Since the wedding doesn't allow kids and my husband doesn't want to hire a babysitter after the one we had robbed us. We had gone back and forth on this. But I insisted on going since that's my only sister and I want to attend what might be a once in a lifetime event for her. He chuckled at my statement then we stopped talking about it. As the wedding was approaching, he brought it up and told me to miss it and stay with the kids. I suggested that since no babysitters were allowed then, I could get my friend to stay with the kids but he refused. I ignored him, spoke to my friend who agreed to watch the kids and booked a ticket to travel to my sister's town in time. My husband found out and went on about how he had work, and that the most logical solution is that I stay home with the kids and let him make his living. I told him that I already took care of the kids and they'll stay with my friend. Honestly? I grew impatient. The day of my flight I dropped the kids off at my friend's place then headed to the airport. I found out he had cancelled my plane ticket. I was upset but still insisted on going so I went home and got into my car and drove 4 hours to get to the town. At 5 p.m. My husband called and was freaking out on me asking where I was. I told him I made it to my sister's town and he blew up saying I wasn't supposed to go, even said he cancelled my ticket to get me to stay. He demanded I return but I said not until the wedding was over. He called me horrible, neglectful mom then had his mom scold me and accuse me of abandoning my own kids. There was a huge argument ensued when I returned home and my husband kept on saying I was horrible to leave the kids and to ignore him like that and do what I wanted eventually. He's giving me silent treatment as of now and I can no longer take it. I felt guilty and did not enjoy the wedding at all. Was I wrong for still going? Info. My husband dislikes my sister if it's relevant. Financial abuse? Yup isolating you from loved ones? Yup controlling behavior? Yup. Not the asshole and please leave the asshole. He should be required to give you child support and alimony. You are not neglectful. Your kids were taken care of. Horrible. Neglectful mom. From the man that did everything he could to not have to parent his own kids for a weekend. Your relationship is not healthy. He is manipulating and controlling. Hopefully the comments here open your eyes. Not the asshole. Location flag location flag location flag location flag location flag location flag location flag. Run. Run now. He's controlling and isolating you from family. You're already beholden to him as the breadwinner, and he cancels a plane ticket to force you to stay away from your family, then has his mother scold you. You need to GTFO of their ASAP. Am I the asshole for snapping at my mother for asking me to cancel my trip to babysit my nephew? My 19F cousin, 28F, gave birth to a baby boy four months ago. For two months, she's been dumping my nephew at our house to babysit him because she needs a job as soon as she can start working again. Next week I have to go for a five-day trip to a city where I'm starting university in a few weeks to set up my room in my friend's apartment. It's new, and I already called people from the internet provider we'll be using to help set up the router and TV. I'll be alone for the whole duration of my stay, and the city is six hours away so nobody can help me out. My mother asked me this morning to babysit my nephew next Tuesday. I'd already be at the city, because my cousin has two job interviews. I asked the mandatory, am I really the only person who can look after him? And to my shock, no. Turns out my older sister, my cousin's husband and her in-laws are all available. I laughed in her face and told her no way in hell am I doing that, and she started screaming at me for being an ungrateful and irresponsible brat. I snapped and told her I don't care to look after someone else's kid and that I have better things to do than babysit a four-month-old whose own dad is available to care for him. My mother then argued it's his only day off and her in-laws are conservative and think the father shouldn't be bathing a kid or changing his diaper and I should be compassionate because of that. I just told her I don't give a crap and that's not my business. She later tried asking nicely for me to move my trip and I snapped, again, saying I don't care for them enough to do that. Am I the asshole? Edit people told me he's actually my second cousin, not nephew, so thank you for correcting me. Also to add this isn't the first time I've been asked to sacrifice something for that family. 
To explain why I snapped almost immediately. So your mom thinks being conservative means a husband and father can fuck right off and a random teenage cousin should cancel plans to watch a kid that isn't theirs? Gross. Stand your ground. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Guess what? He doesn't get days off being a dad. Not your baby. Not your problem. Make it clear that if you are going to be expected to take care of the baby then they can expect you will never be available. Don't ask if there's anyone else too available to watch the baby anymore because they'll just lie to you since now they know you have a spine. If they are conservative then as a grandmother it is mill and your mother's duty to help her raise that child. A mother's job is never done. Their views, not mine. Dot. Not the asshole. Dot. I'm curious to what your mother arguments are against your sister, your mother or your cousin's mill watching that child. Am I the asshole for being furious with my wife for returning our daughter's birthday gift? I, 40M, and my wife, 41F, have been married for 12 years. We have a daughter and son together. Our daughter is turning 8 and has been wanting a Nintendo Switch. My wife got laid off from her job and has become more frugal with money. I am still working and am happy to provide for the family. I have no issue with saving money. We have been planning daughter's birthday party and my wife has made it clear that the budget is $50. She bought all the decorations from the dollar store, which I didn't see an issue with. She told my daughter she could only invite five of her friends as it would save money on the amount of food we would have to spend. I bought the cake and the pizza. Daughter told us that she wanted a Nintendo Switch. My wife looked up the price for one and told her that it was too expensive. I found a Switch online for a good price and purchased it. Her birthday party was this past weekend. She was so excited seeing that we got her a Switch. When everything calmed down, my wife started yelling at me for purchasing the console. I told her that I got the system for a good price. Daughter started school this year. When I picked her up from school, she went up to her bedroom to play with the Switch. She starts crying and tells me the Switch was missing. I looked through her entire room and couldn't find it anywhere. My wife comes home handing me some money and tells me that she sold the switch and got the money back. I started screaming at her for selling the switch and upsetting our daughter. Her reasoning was that daughter wasn't letting brother use the console and that I spent money we didn't have. She packed a bag and is currently staying with her sister. I have purchased my daughter another switch along with some games. Sil thinks I am being a horrible husband and not respecting my wife's decision on saving money. So to recap. You bought your daughter a gift that she wanted, your wife threw a fit because you can't afford it, and instead of taking the issue out on you or temporarily making a budget change to recap the loss, thought it seems money ATM isn't a huge issue. She instead took it out on your daughter and returned the gift? Not the asshole. Hard not the asshole. Solely for the fact she took it out on her daughter. Not the asshole. Wife was so far out of line I can't even. Returning the console on day 2 or 3. She was intent on punishing both you and your daughter, and there's really no excuse for what she did. Sure, you spent money she didn't want you to spend, but returning the six yo's gift after it had been gifted was cruel. Your wife is clearly way, way more stressed about money than you are. Does she know something you don't? 